I think you already read it. I don't know if you like read it or skimmed through it. So I'm gonna read it anyways. Okay. So this, both of these assignments are from sociology. And right now we're going over um, social justice, stratification and inequality. And that's like okay. our last unit since tomorrow's my last day. Ooh, that's weird to think. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so uh, basically for the first one, uh, it's a list of like, um, wait, four, five, six uh, social stratifications or inequality topics. And basically we have, we had to put, do you believe that this is a problem in our society? Yes or no? Um, and it's talking about American society. Mm -hmm. And then <coughs> it basically just says, if yes, what would be, what could we do to change it? If no, why do you feel this way? So the first topic was health. And I said yes. And I put, uh, yes, it should be changed because our health care system is probably one of the worst and most expensive in the world. Um, yes, it is. Yeah. Here, I need to zoom in. Okay. Our prices are outrageously high for medication and surgeries that people need. We quite literally have to pay money to survive. And then I put, if we lower prices and make um, med medicine, medicine and similar stuff more accessible for people, we could most likely um, thrive as a healthcare system and get these people the medical attention that they not only need, but deserve to have. And then the next one was consumption. And this is talking about like eating, it's talking about like buying stuff that we don't need. Okay. Um, and I put, I put yes, and I said, yes, it should be changed. Online and in-person spending is super bad. Uh, people will spend th hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on items that aren't that we don't necessarily need we could easily change this by promoting better ways of spending our money online and in person and then the next one was parenting I put yes and no um, I said I do think it should be changed but I think it depends on the parenting style some parents are too strict on some things while other parents are a bit too lenient on other things and the next one was education I put yes uh, I said yes, it, yes, it should be changed because our ed our education system is underfunded. Underfunded. Uh, many people can't even afford to go to school. Um, we are expected to follow a set of rules and guidelines that barely help us be successful in the real world and uh, being an adult. We aren't even taught about many important things such as how to do our taxes um, or finances. Uh, if we are able to better fund our education system, we might be able to provide better education and understand the basics to live a sustainable and affordable life without being in debt. Um, the next one was politics. I put, yes, it should be changed. We are so divided as a country when it comes to politics and our political stances. Instead of focusing on who looks better or who aligns more with our values, we should focus on the candidate who could do more for our country and how we could be better as people instead of constantly fighting each other because someone favors one politician more than the other. And the last one is crime. And this was like pretty long. I put, yes, this should be changed. Our prison system is more overflowed than it has ever been in American history. The upper class are able to, are usually able to get out of facing the consequences just because they have money. Um, to pay someone off to get their changes either dropped or lowered. As many people say, the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. Yep. Our prison system is set up so the racial majority is... Wait. I think I put that in wrong. Our prison system is set up so the r racial minority is able to get... Wait, no, the racial majority Jeez. is able to get away with committing crimes more often than the minority. I was like switching them up. This, um, and same goes for social class minority getting away with crimes because they are rich 
while the more impoverished majority uh, has to face the consequences even um, if they committed petty crimes. And then I said we could fix the overcrowding by making more prisons and funding states and local jails and the rich should be charged with bribery when they offer um, people money to get a jail. And then it said, um, which of the above do you see as the most concerning for an equal society and why? And I put the most concerning one is either education because the way we are taught and what we are taught is vital. And then it is important for our social development because it's one of the only ways we socialize when we are young besides family members. Um, most of our friends and our mentors come from the places where we were educated and then uh, the easy which of the above do you see as the easiest to change to give uh, more equal opportunities to United States citizens and why and then I put the easiest one to change would probably be be health care because there are so much there are so many ways to get Americans free health care but the government makes it seems like it is nearly impossible, even though um, we've seen so many other countries with free and affordable health care. So that was that one. Very good. And then this one is <laughs> Intro to Social Justice. And basically, I had to choose um, three topics of um, the top. Um, social justice issues according to the National Association of Social Workers um, and so th those are voting rights climate justice health care refugee the refugee and immigration crisis racial injustice the income gap gun violence and hunger and food insecurity and so for number one I put health care I put, I see, I think healthcare is the most important because there's such a big problem with people not being able to afford to get the medical help that they need. With sustainable healthcare, we would most likely have lower death rates and we would be able to help more people from dying prematurely. Uh, for number two, uh, I put racial injustice. Uh, racial injustice is the second most important because although we have many laws to prevent hate crimes and uh, such other acts against people because of their race. There are still so many people who face racism, even if it is just in microaggressions. Many people get fired, assaulted, or murdered because of their race. According to the Association of American Indian Affairs, statistics show that indigenous women are two times more likely to experience some form of sexual violence than any other race. And then according to the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation, Black Americans are three, three and a half times more likely uh, to die as a result of br police brutality than white Americans. Non Latino, uh, then I put non Latino black people are more likely to experience some form of police brutality, followed by Latinos of any race. And then for number three, I put gun violence. Uh, gun violence, I think gu gun violence is the third most important because the United States has a huge problem with school, with school shooting issue. According to the Pew Research Center, 43% of gun related deaths are a result of murder. <sighs> there has been an increase in gun violence in the United States since 1968. According to the Rockefeller Institute of Government, 36 countries have had school shootings. Out of those 36 countries, the United States makes up 33% of those shootings and 76% of mass shootings. There have been over 144 mass shootings across the world and 109 of those were in the United States. The United States has had 288 school shootings with an average of 86 school shootings per year. Wow. And then I had to answer two questions, and those one of them was, which one do you believe is the hardest to achieve um, equality of opportunity and explain? I put, I think that racial injustice will be the hardest to achieve 
because the United States has such a long history with racism and it is ingrained into the founding of our country. This country was built off of slavery and the genocide of indigenous people. Many people who are white or white passing will never experience the same type of racism that a person of color would. Police brutality is such a big problem and it is partially due to the systemic racism that is in our country. According to statistics, about 7 in 10 Black Americans have experienced some form of police violence. And then um, the second question is, what is an issue that you think, that you think needs to be addressed to achieve more equality and opportunity in our society that is not listed um, above? And then I put, an issue that I feel should be addressed more is gender-based injustices such as reproductive rights and the gender pay gap. Reproductive rights such as abortion and access to contraceptives have always been fought for and ever since the turning of Roe v. Wade, it has changed even more. It has been challenged even more. According to the Center for Reproductive Rights, one in four women, even in states where it is now illegal, will get an abortion. According to the status of women in the states, Federal funds can go to access abortion, can't go to access abortions unless it is in cases of rape and incest. Luckily, the Affordable Care Act or the ACA has made it easier for people to buy contraceptives and have their insurance cover it. The gender pay gap has been pretty stable in the past decade or so. Um, according to statistics, in 2022, women earned about an average of 82% of what men earned, according to the Pew Research Center. According to the Center for American Progress, or CAP, women, women earn about an average of 82 cents for every dollar a man makes. It is even harder for women of color because they are less likely to earn they are ugh, because they earn less than white women. According to the CAP, white women earn about 80 cents for every dollar a man makes, while black women earn 62 cents, Native American women earn 57 cents, and Latinas earn 54 cents. According to the Government Accountability Office, the gender pay gap is worse for full time female managers than any other. Um, type of female worker. So. Very good. Do you think that's still a problem today? What? With the pay, yeah. pay, yeah. pay I think at my work it's pretty good, to say the truth. I mean, I think some places have handled it like really well. And I then, think my work has handled it very well. Like, I think a lot of people are getting paid pretty equally. Still, yeah. But I think like there's still an issue. Like, like do you think it's like smaller businesses, bigger businesses that see the bigger issue? I'm serious. I, I I'm think curious. It's more bigger positions where they yeah. earn. Cause oh, like if let's say a CEO is a woman, mm -hmm. she would get paid less than if the male was if it was the male. Would you, yeah, you think that? Yeah, because it says because while I was doing research, uh, it said in 2022 women earn about an average of 82 uh, percent of what men earn, which is pretty high mm -hmm. than what I expected. And then it says um, that the gender pay gap is worse for full-time female managers than any other type of female worker. Yeah. So. <coughs> All right, pretty good. So many typos. Okay. Cool. Good job.